Hi, and welcome to Horror Recapped. Today, we will be examining 2007's Shrooms. Beware, spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. At the start of the movie, we're introduced to a friend group of five who embark on a trip to Ireland. On reaching the airport, they are received by a guy named Jake, who picks them up in a van. Jake reveals that the entire group is heading to a remote portion of the forest to do some psychedelic mushrooms. He appears to be quite knowledgeable on the subject as he shows the group a catalog of different subspecies. In the process, he highlights the Liberty Cap, also known as the Magic Mushroom, stating that it is the specific variety that they'd be looking out for. While the group discusses, Tara, who is driving, gets distracted by their conversation and takes her eyes off the road for a split second. However, this causes the van to collide with an animal on the road leaving it injured. They all come down to look at the severely wounded animal and decide to kill it off. To put it out of its misery, they soon spot a couple of strange looking men who stare at them from across the road. The group is startled at first, but Jake explains they're just indigenous people who simply want to use the animal as food. He hands over the animal, and sure enough, they leave after taking it. Eventually, the squad gets back into the van and resumes their journey. Not long after this, they successfully reach their destination. On arrival, Jake collects all their phones to prevent them from calling anyone or doing anything crazy when they eventually become high from the mushrooms. They are all reluctant to hand over their cells, but ultimately do so out of fear of embarrassment. They then head out in pairs to the forest in search of the magic mushrooms. Lisa, followed closely by Troy, soon finds a shroom cluster. She tries picking one up, but is immediately stopped by Jake who warns her that those are a dangerous variety of shrooms called death bell mushrooms. He explains that they are rumored to give foresight ability and the gift of premonition, but are also lethal and could lead to death. Afterward, the trio goes off to find and warn the others about this shroom variety. Meanwhile, Tara, who is in a separate part of the forest, stumbles on Bluto and Holly. She spies and sees Bluto hitting on Holly, which she finds wrong as Bluto is in a relationship with Lisa and Holly is with Troy. Though Bluto and Holly do not spot Tara, they soon leave upon hearing a rustling sound in the distance. A relieved Tara makes her way back to the others, but soon stumbles on the death bell mushroom. Tara unknowingly takes one and immediately starts hallucinating. She sees flashes of what appears to be Jake saving and kissing her. Then she passes out. Luckily, Jake finds her a few seconds later, and, just as in her vision, he saves and kisses her. On regaining consciousness, Tara frantically tries to explain that she saw visions of the future, but Jake quickly dismisses her as he assumes that she is merely hallucinating as a result of the ingestion of the mushrooms. Afterward, he takes her back to camp and follows Tara to settle into her tent. Later on, the rest of the group sits around a campfire and asks Jake to narrate a scary story. He obliges and tells them a true one of a nearby, abandoned young offender center called Glen Gareff which was manned by a religious order known as the Black Knights of Colmsill. The story goes as follows. Long ago, one ruthless black brother torches a set of twins, killing one while forcing the other to watch as his brother is brutally murdered. Ultimately, the black brother names the surviving child, the Lonely Twin. In a quest for revenge, the Lonely Twin poisons the black brother's soup with three pounds of death's head shrooms, hence driving him to madness. However, this leads the Black Brother into a killing frenzy, causing him to massacre 78 people, leaving but one survivor. Since then, it has been rumored that the woods have been haunted by the Lonely Twin and the Black Brother. Jake opts to continue the story, but the girls stop him and head to bed as the gory tale spooks them. They all head to their tents for the night, but Bluto comes out later to have some shrooms. He begins hallucinating and starts conversing with a cow. However, he is interrupted by Tara, who was scared for his safety as she had a strange dream where she saw him brutally murdered by a dark figure. She is relieved to see him safe and leads him back to his tent. The following day, Tara is woken by Lisa, who informs her that Bluto is missing. The duo meets up with the rest of the group, who are already high on shrooms. Tara urges them to all look for Bluto, but they initially refuse, reassuring her that Bluto is fine. However, Tara presses on and tells them about her dream. They don't think much of it, but they eventually agree to search for him. During their search, the girls get separated from the guys and wander around the forest. There, Tara spots the exact dark figure from her dream last night, which frightens her. She quickly takes to her heels and asks the others to join her. After running for quite a while, 
The girls stop and take a minute to catch their breath. Holly and Lisa, who did not see the dark figure, question Tara's sanity and propose that she's merely hallucinating. However, Tara is sure that her visions are real and firmly believes that they predict the future. Later on, the girls make their way through the forest in search of the boys but instead stumble upon Bluto's dead body. This leaves them horrified, but it proves that Tara's visions really do predict the future. Soon, the creature shows up again, and Tara screams at them to run. They all do, and eventually split up, with Tara hitting her head on a branch and passing out, while the others run ahead. While unconscious, she sees visions of Holly in trouble. Immediately, the scene cuts to Holly, who has managed to find her way to a house in the middle of the forest. She finds that the house is occupied by the indigenous men. They welcome her in, but she witnesses some strange things, prompting her to freak out and run away from the deserted house. Soon after, Tara regains consciousness and luckily finds Lisa. The duo is relieved to see each other and move on to find Holly. However, they stumble upon the boys instead who are on the opposite side of a river. Jake yells at them to meet him and Troy at a house downstream, but Lisa responds that they have to find Holly. However, Jake leaves alongside Troy as they don't hear her due to the vast distance between them. Soon after, Tara starts convulsing and sees a vision of Holly dying. When Tara eventually recovers, she informs Lisa that Holly is already dead. However, Lisa still doesn't trust Tara's visions, but believes her when she discovers Holly's lifeless body in the water. A frightened Lisa apologizes to Tara and leaves her behind, while Tara futilely begs her to stay. However, Lisa doesn't get far before she's stranded and murdered in the river by the unidentified dark creature. Meanwhile, Tara makes her way to the house and searches for the boys who are being attacked in one of the rooms upstairs. She moves around the house, but fails to find them while being continually haunted by the visions. Eventually, Troy and Jake split up in the room and the creature kills Troy, while Jake manages to escape by jumping down from the window. But unfortunately, this leaves him with a fractured leg. Eventually, Tara finds and helps him into the forest to escape the ominous figure. However, upon leaving him for a moment to investigate a sinister presence, Jake is swiftly attacked and murdered. As she gets back to him, he confesses his love for her with his dying breath, and the two share a kiss. Rapidly, a distraught Tara gets back on her feet, and sprints away, but falls unconscious when she runs into the dark figure. When she wakes up, Tara realizes that she's being rescued as a paramedic caters to her injuries in the back of an ambulance. Later on, when her phone rings in her pocket, it triggers several hidden memories. As the movie takes a shocking twist, Tara's flashbacks reveal that the mysterious dark figured murderer has actually been Tara this entire time. She unknowingly killed all of her friends while under the influence of the death bell mushroom. Ultimately, she ends up killing the paramedic, and the movie draws to a close with a scene of Tara running through the woods. That's going to wrap up this recap. We hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please click the subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video.